Well, I'm here with Jill Whitlow and Jason Lively, yeah. the uh, stars of Night of the Creeps. Mm -hmm. uh, so, how are you guys enjoying the uh, convention so far? I think it's phenomenal. Yeah. I love it. I lost my voice last night at the party, no. so I apologize if you can't hear me very well. But um, this is my first show. Oh. Okay. And um, wait, first, first uh, Spooky Empire or first? Ever. Oh man. Yes. So the experience I've had here has been one in a million. Wow. One in a million. And this is like a, a really uh, an extra special year to have you guys out here because Night of the Creeps finally coming out on DVD. I know. Yeah, so you know, people finally. don't have to put up with VHS copies or bootlegs or anything. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. It's and it's nice to be able to have a date to tell people because I've done I've done three other conventions and that was what everyone asked. When's Night of the Creeps coming out? When's when? Night of the when? Creeps when? Out? So, Man. I'm happy about it. Yeah. yeah, and Sony sent over the sleeves so we could actually sign them and they can replace the sleeves oh, wow. that come with it because we're about two weeks early. Yeah. Four yeah. Now. Yeah. Um, now, Night of the Creeps, growing up, I would always see it in the video store. Uh -huh. And just the cover, the guy staring through the window with the flowers would always creep me out. I mean, not to, you know, maybe you, pun intended. It creeped me out. Oh man, and you were in it, so uh -huh. yeah. So um, you know, just uh, a few months ago, I finally was able to track down a copy for the for the first time and see uh -huh. it, and I was just knocked out by it. Um, it's just everything you want in like a, a fun horror film. Fred Decker is amazing. He did yeah. so good. I yeah. think so too, and I think, uh, and I said before, I think that when it came out, people just like didn't get, they didn't get all the jokes. It's like today's audience is hipper. Yeah. yeah, we're like, we're, yes. we're, oh yeah. Absolutely, much more accepting and just really cool. Yeah, so did you guys, uh, after it came out in the theaters, did you did you think that it was going to catch on eventually or were you like, well, it was fun? Why it's like one of those things that you don't know. You, yeah. you just never know. Um, the thing, you know. I was more with you on the second one. Yeah, it was yeah. fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I thought, okay, now where were all of you 20 years ago? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Well, what I, you know, I, I certainly would have never thought. I mean, when you're doing the movie, you have great, you know, high hopes that it's going to do really well and make a lot of money. And then it came and went, like in three minutes, something like that, you know. Yeah. And, and I was like, well, well, that was fun. And I really could have never imagined that I would be doing this today because of I that. I know. Movie. I yeah. know. And it's great. So do you have any, like, fun uh, stories from the set or maybe anything that went like terribly wrong like with a, a flamethrower perhaps or uh, they, they they have people they pay a lot to make sure things horribly wrong don't go with the flamethrowers right. okay. and things like that yeah. but i uh you know it was a blast doing, yeah. doing the zombie killing you know going around with yeah. jill when she had the flamethrower and i had the shotgun i mean that's it's fun. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. And then to get paid for it, too, is really a bonus. Exactly. And one of um, everybody's favorites is, is when we're in the shack and we kind of look at each other and we're kind of stuck. Well, that was not necessarily scripted because I did come too close to Jason's head. Yeah. <laughs> with the flamethrower. And so um, that was kind of like... Did you get an impromptu haircut? <laughs> I, uh, this is news to me. I didn't realize she, but obviously she realized she don't. <laughs> so, was it ever hard on the set to like really be scared of a of a, a slug monster? Was it because like I look at that and it, it was great, but I'm like, I'm like I don't know how I would go about really emoting. Yeah. Uh, terror. Well, you know what? The way I look at it now, at least there was something there, as opposed to like there's so much CGI stuff now where they right. don't have anything to react to. Yeah. So you know, it was kind of like they were all over the set. Everybody was playing with him, and um, we kind of owned them as pets. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they became our our pets. <laughs> and uh, I heard that there was uh, an original ending that was cut out for uh, the, the alternate with the uh, dog head explosion, uh -huh. which, I mean, I, I love the, the, the dog head explosion ending, uh -huh. but uh, what was the original ending, if you don't mind, or is it? You'll see it. We'll it's see on, on the, the DVD? Yeah, it's on it. Yeah, okay. it's on it. Yeah, and it's good. You have Great. to buy it. And it's what, it's what the director wanted from the beginning. Right. Yeah. And then the, the studio said, well, we're going to do this ending. But I had never seen the alternate ending. Everyone would ask me, oh, which one do you like best? I'm like, 
We don't I know. I like the one I've seen. <laughs> Wait, so you haven't even seen the I other? Did. Okay, yeah. Saw it. Okay. Austin, yeah. Texas, yeah, I heard you guys uh, did a, a reunion screening. Yeah. And, oh man, the so Alamo it, Draft House was a blast. It was so much fun. And First time Jill got to see me in a long time, and her little heart goes, butterfly. <laughs> man. You know. Yeah. It's like there's my man, and he can take care of me and kill zombies. Okay, and one final question. When is uh, Ghost Chase, a.k.a. Hollywood Monster, coming oh, to DVD? Oh, some research. my goodness. Yes, you did. Because I, I tried my hardest to track that down, did you know? You? And I, I, I couldn't, so... Uh, well, you know, I, don't I don't know. know if, I don't know if uh, Roland Emmerich's really got the time to go <laughs> dig that one up and push it for a DVD I'll email release. Him and get the ball rolling. He's, all right. He's got okay. a little film coming out here I'll see what I can real do. soon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll email yeah. him and see what I can do. Okay, thanks. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for your time. Oh, I really appreciate you. it. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Had a great time here. Yeah, it was awesome. Nice. Thanks.